So what you're seeing right now is a version of ChatGPT downloaded on my laptop. It doesn't need any internet to work. And this program could be one of the most important steps in AI. Artificial intelligence is at a crossroads and there's two main paths it could take. Each path leads down a dramatically different way. But what intersection are we at? What am I even talking about? Well, to see where AI is, we gotta go back to the 1990s. The World Wide Web was just getting started and the creator had a grand vision for it a decentralized platform that could allow for the free exchange of information. However, things didn't turn out that way. We soon saw the rise of Google and social media sites. Now, Google created an amazing service that wasn't inherently bad. Same with all of the other sites. But people started to use a select few sites to the point where only a few companies controlled the flow of information on the majority of the internet. Decentralization to centralization. And AI could end up just like this, locked away where the keys are held by the powerful few. And this is exactly what the mega corporations like Google and Microsoft want though. The AI revolution that's here is going to make a lot of money. This cutting edge technology could grow these companies' market caps by huge amounts. So of course they would try to capitalize on it. But their goal is to generate money for their shareholders, not to create open and free AI. See, the two paths of decentralization and centralization would be magnified by AI. Think about it, we have search results right now, but we're already seeing chatbots being able to search the internet and come back with a single result. The AI determines exactly what to show someone. You would no longer even have a choice to click on certain links. Do we want that kind of power to be in the hands of a couple of Fortune 500 companies? As large language models improve, they're gonna become more and more lucrative. The AI race will only heat up as everyone tries to come out ahead. Now, you may be wondering, how do individual people stand a chance against a company that can throw billions at artificial intelligence? Well, two words, open, source. This is the key to make AI decentralized. Code that's available for everyone to see and contribute to. This is what the program I downloaded GPT for All's goal is. It's a chatbot that runs fully on your computer. The link to download it is in the description. It can't be controlled by any external company or individual. And it's an independent project where all the code can be seen. This program gives us a glimpse into the future of where AI could end up. You may have heard in the news that Meta recently released their new AI model to everyone. And this move was not looked upon favorably by Microsoft and Google. They said that people could use it as a dangerous tool to spread toxic content and disinformation. And this is a valid concern. If there weren't guardrails on ChatGBT, people would run wild. But the fact is, this technology is very hard to keep contained. Within days of GPT-4 being launched, people already had found jailbreaks. In other words, AI is going to be used for bad things already, and it's hard to keep down all of the independent language models that are out there already people one way or another will figure out how to use AI for what they want. Now, Meta argues that releasing their model makes sure AI develops faster and is available for everyone. The more open AI is, the more quickly it progresses. Speaking of that, let's look at OpenAI for a second. They started out as a non-profit and open source company, but once their technology blew up, they were too tempted by the money that could be made. And once they were acquired by Microsoft, well, that was the final nail in the coffin. So the biggest AI products like ChatGBT and Google Bard are for-profit corporatized ventures. However, despite this, a leaked memo from Google shows that the leadership is concerned that they could be losing the AI battle to the little guys. They're worried that the pace of development in smaller projects could surpass them. In the direct words of the memo, they said, the uncomfortable truth is we aren't positioned to win this arms race and neither is OpenAI. While we've been squabbling, a third faction has been quietly eating our lunch. What were the big companies adding to the table if other smaller projects were being offered for free? The smaller, more nimble AI projects were able to go about things more quickly. So we could see AI go down a very different path than what the internet did. Now with all of this being said, how does GPT for all run? How good is it? 
well, it's really not that good. It's unbelievably slow on a regular laptop like mine. So while it isn't that good of a start, it's moving the ball in the right direction. So which path will we follow? Will AI fall to the same trap as the internet did, or will it usher in a new development of technology and decentralization? But there's a more immediate problem around the corner regarding currency. Governments want control over your finances down to the very last cent. To learn more, click the video on your screen right now. But you better click it fast because it's going away very soon.